Well, it's been quite an interesting time for the club since you've joined quite what's happened in such a short space of time. Um, how are you finding it at home? Um, all right. Um, obviously, with um, Ian Caffrell losing his job, it's always unfortunate and that's sad. But um, no, John, Austin, and Foxy have took over, and I think they picked us up a picked us up a level. Do you know what I mean? And um, obviously, you can see in the performances. Obviously, Celtic was a bit of a one of them, but then Kilmarnock and Rangers. I think we should have scored against Rangers. We had a couple of chances, but no, like we said, we'll take a point away from home, especially at Rangers. The board had obviously yet to decide on who will succeed Ian on a permanent basis. Do the players fully endorse John? Yeah, they do. He's definitely got all the lads' respect. Um, like obviously he's just fresh out to play him like a few years, so he's always got that side to him as in like he knows what it's like to be one of the lads still, do you know what I mean? But then he's got the respect side as well off the lads, so no, it's a good um, it's a good combination to have. John made the point in the after the Rangers game at Ibrox last week and he made it repeatedly that he felt the players weren't fit when he took over. Is yeah. that something that the squad felt? Did you feel that as a player? And um, what's John done in the last three weeks to try and kick yeah, on? Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, obviously, the pre-season just gone a lot different to what I'm used to. As in, like back in the day, we'd just be, we wouldn't see a ball for a week. We'd be running and running. But then, I know the game's changing season by season and sports science and all that. Um, but no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I felt as fit. But now the training sessions are a lot more intense, shorter distance, but you're working for longer, harder. So no, it'll only benefit us all anyway. You know what I mean? In the games, like the last ten minutes and that. So, who have you found the the, the step up from made a step up from very well last season? Um, there is a bit of a step up was in like the tempo and training and the quality of some of the lads. Um, but like I say, that can bet that can only benefit me training and playing with them um, and that's it really, do you know what I mean, I've just got to enjoy it, why I'm here, I've got to make the most of it, work with the staff, the players who I'm playing with and just pick up what I can. Is there an importance on making an, a, a full time permanent appointment as head coach sooner rather than later? Um, see I'm, I'm not too sure you know but like I said the lads, the lads are really pleased with what John, John's done and what he's doing, how he's working with us, Foxy and Austin as well. Like all the staff here, they're, they're all like on the same wavelength and we all know what we want to achieve. So I think we're, we're heading in the right direction on that one. But it would help with the stability with the, with the club, would it not? There's all, the, well, there is this, uh, we know what's happening, there will always be questions asked. Yeah, there will always be questions asked, but um, like I say, you've just got to come into training and look how happy the lads are. They're coming into training and they're, everyone's got a smile on their face training and they're taking that into a game. A lot of Hearts fans are maybe a bit sceptical about John taking on the role because the previous manager was a rookie manager, he wasn't very yeah. experienced and he didn't do, he didn't do well, he was yeah. sacked pretty quickly. As a player, what would you say to supporters who are maybe a little bit sceptical about John being given the role on a full-time basis? I think, first, everyone deserves a chance, definitely. And like I said earlier, just the way they've come in and just changed everything. Not, not changed everything, but as in just the training. The training tempo, how the, the, the how it is around the place. Do you know what I mean? There's a bit more of a up, an upbeat. Like everyone's on another level. Everyone's happy, made up to come into training every day, and it's getting took out onto the training pitch, and then that'll take her onto the pitch on a match day. Do you think he's getting a bit more respect? Definitely. Um, he deserves it anyway. Do you know what I mean? For what he's for what he's done, and then coming over and being a manager of us, he's always going to get the respect, and then. All the lads are just buying into what he's doing because he's just turning the place around us and training and everything. Do you think uh, when uh, this team would prove that? The what, sorry? Do you think a win this time around would prove that? Definitely, yeah. Um, we all know what we want to do and what we're capable of achieving, so we're, we'll, we've done that bit of work on Motherwell. Um, and then we're going to focus a lot more on them today and tomorrow and then take it into the game Saturday and then get them three points. What do you know about Motherwell? Um, physical. From what I've seen of like the past couple of seasons, obviously when they were up here, they've, they've, I've always noticed them as a physical side. But that might have changed. Like I said, we're going to do our work on them like today and tomorrow, and I'll look into them myself. I'll have a look what their centre halves are like. I always do, just to give myself a um, an extra yard maybe.